Hello there. In this session, I'm going to create a policy for removing the ESET Protect Cloud Console. I'm going to choose Policies. Once I've chosen this, I'll see any policies that have previously been created. If I want to create a new one, I can choose New Policy. I can see a policy name, in which case this will be no splash screen. And I can pop a description in here. I can assign some tags if I wish some tags assigned to this policy. I'm then going to go to settings. I can choose the products that it's going to be applied to. And then I'm going to drill down into the various areas to decide what actions I want this policy to apply. So in this particular one, I'm going to choose user interface. And you'll see here the option that I want to change is the show splash screen at startup. It's currently enabled. I'm going to choose disabled. I can then choose to either finish and just save this policy, or I can choose to assign it to a number of machines. This particular instance, I'm gonna choose a sign. I'm gonna to go to my MJ test environment and I'm gonna assign it to one machine. Once that's done, I'm gonna choose okay. Then you'll notice that it's assigned here. I'm just gonna choose that option and then I can have a look at the summary and it's gonna show me some information about this policy. So this is a no splash screen policy. It's not going to display a splash screen on startup. It's assigned to mark PC, no static groups, no dynamic groups. And then when I click finish, I'll see that the policy has been created and I'll see it listed in my policies here. Now this particular splash screen will only be applied to one computer. And it just means that on boot up, this particular computer will not display a splash screen for the ESET product that I've associated this with. 